Hey there, I am super excited for today because today we are going to look at the new book from my favorite photographer, Saul Leiter, called The Unseen Saul Leiter. And I could not wait for this book to come out. I pre ordered it months ago. It has unseen work from him, and that just always gets me pumped up about photography and about street photography. So I kind of forgot about it over the summer. And then I realized when it was going to show up in a week, I'm like, oh, that's right. So I was counting off the days and then the day it was to be delivered from Amazon. And I'll have a link in the description where you can check the link out my Amazon affiliate link. The day it was supposed to show up, Amazon always comes in the afternoon. They're always there before five and o'clock, uh, five o'clock. And of course, the day the book is supposed to show up, when does it arrive? 9 p.m. So I am like a little kid on Christmas waiting for the Lego set they always wanted. Must build Legos. It was a little embarrassing. I've got the Amazon app out. I'm checking, you know, you can check, hey, it's eight stops away. And then I'd wait 10 minutes. It's six stops away. You know, I'm making tea so that it's ready for when the book arrives. I mean, this is, I, I'm admitting this, okay, that it, this was a bit of a problem that night. So, um, but it just shows you how much I was looking forward to this book. I think you're really gonna like it. We're gonna walk through it. I'm gonna give you some comments. Some of the images I'll just let speak for themselves, but I'll do an entire video on Saul eventually. The influence he's had on me why he's my favorite favorite photographer, things like that. But let's get over to the book and take a peek at some of these awesome images. So let's open it up and get to the good stuff here. And the cool thing I like about this is they kind of start with some pictures inside Saul's apartment uh, displaying the slides. These are all slides. Here's another one that's that's really nice of his apartment. It's on a little bit different paper, like a matte finish here. So they give you some intro images. Here's actual, uh, the, some of the images from the book in the slide mounts, which is really neat. You can see how they were found, the, the writing on there, things like that. There's his apartment from the outside. Here's a nice self portrait of him, a little sliver in the window. Intro essay from Margaret. She's the one who runs his foundation, does a fantastic job. And then we get to the images here. Something that's different than a lot of photo books is it's they're black pages as opposed to white. He loved layering, shooting through windows, rainy windows. He has a quote, uh, I think it goes, a uh, window covered in raindrops interests me more than the photograph of a famous person. Bad weather makes for good photos. You've heard it here once, you'll hear it again. Looks like he's in a cab shooting through and getting this scene. Really nice use of slow shutter speed. Reminds me of Ernst Haas here. Nice colors and leads you into the people waiting across the street. Very nice how he used this, this sort of visual roadblock and he used it to his advantage with the trees up here and the couple sitting on the bench. He's a fan of having a person in the photo, but they're not the dominant part. They take up very little of the photo. He likes shooting through things, over things. And you can see that here both times. This is beautiful. I love this kind of stuff. Just very simple. The one glove of the worker pulling that window. Really nice. Just a lot of red here. You know, here's the road leads you up to this scene with all these people, obviously shot very late in the day. Really nice. This is beautiful. I love this. He's across the street and just puts that person at the top of the roof 
of the car that's in the foreground. Really nice here. Again, you know, kind of shallow, somewhat shallow depth of field. You don't know where this person is standing, how far away from the window necessarily. They're not very close, but layering through that window, shooting through the rainy window. Very typical Saul. A lot of negative space he uses there. And then it kind of forces you to go to the scene that he's seeing. There's the cover, really nice. A little bit slow shutter speed, blurry figure. Nice, soft, pastel colors. This is beautiful. This is one of my favorites. That's just lovely. Framing that girl on the, on the subway, on the train. Very nice. Only part of the person. Cut off, nice color there, with the cab. This is a little unusual for Saul. I mean, it's actually, he's more into the, to the subdued colors and this one actually is kind of vibrant, but it's still neat. He loved reflections. That's cool. This is really nice. I love that. So much negative space in this little sliver of the scene up there that he draws you to. Bad weather, bad weather and umbrellas. And I, I love the yellow, just kind of framed it using that yellow color. Unusual to see someone smelling the back of their hand. That's kind of funny. Here's some light and shadow there. And then there'll be another, another essay sort of in the middle of the book. This is by the assistant director of the Saul Leiter Foundation. It's actually Margaret's husband. And he talks about color here. And they have some other black and white images. This is really neat. This is, I don't know, this is every camera Saul used, but a lot of them. Um, and you'll just see a range, you know, the roll of flex, some Leicas, Canon, Fuji, or some even digital stuff in here, Lumex, things like that. Um, and they sort of just almost like a Tetris piece these together. That's really nice. So there's some black and whites in here. There's a, a light box, which is where Saul would look at his slides after he got them developed. So you have that, and then they go on to another set of images here. Kind of a busy scene and Saul sometimes liked you to have to figure things out yourself and try to find it and piece it together. That's kind of neat. And this pole actually going through through that person and then through that person. These people looking and going in different directions. Just a neat city scene. Like that luggage at the bottom. It's a nice touch. Cracked mirror, cracked window there, the reflection. Someone actually noticed him taking pictures. That happens to all street photographers. I've got a few of those myself. Very nice. Again, just the, it's basically black, but you have, you know, these pops of red. Just, there's just a lot of red in this scene that he managed to get the stoplight, the tail lights, the reflection. This is neat, just the silhouette. Again, but this is, you know, foreground, background, you know, again, layering things. You can see a person here, there's silhouette, another person, more people in the background. So actually layering with people. Very nice little detail scene there. That's cool, the water fountain. I think what, what makes this photo so neat for me is just that the straight leg there. You know, you have this person right in kind of a mid-step. This, this I love. This, the way this is led, all these lines up here leading you to this, these people over there. That's really nice. Same thing here, that, that pop of red with that woman 
and you know waiting right there and capturing it and he wasn't shooting eight frames a second with digital cameras like we are today that's waiting for it and getting it in single frame that's that's typical saw got a reflection here but this guy is not a reflection and they kind of overlap that's really neat that's nice he liked winter and that's a nice winter scene with the tree buildings in the back three people another silhouette that's really nice he's probably in one cab photographing into the other cab this this I I you know this is fantastic and I could have swore that was something for one of the fashion magazines he shot if that's actually on Poe Street work just the hat the look from the eyes is beautiful here's his apartment a picture of his apartment not currently how it looks but how it looked when he was alive and you could see like you know was he a hoarder some people would say that I mean, there's these paths that he would walk and just photo boxes everywhere and cameras and just art his paintings um, just a cool kind of you know this is how he lived kind of I'm glad they put that kind of stuff in the book so this was an essay about how they actually got this book together all the slides they had to go to go through there's a lot of undeveloped film too that you know just sits there and because it's Kodachrome and they can't develop it um, it just sits there that's a shame but here's the kind of the the copy mount that they used the Nikon camera to take pictures of the slides so they could make them prints so in the last set of images here that's really nice shooting through those cracks in the window tree again person way up here he often you know would put people very tight against the edge of the picture this is interesting I'm glad they included this you don't see a ton of this from Saul but you know he focused on the just the the leaves there and then very out of focus you see all the people in the boats nice scene this is you don't see a lot of this from Saul either you see the you see the girl like walking through the red that's typical but having that Sun in there that's nice this is neat for a, for a second I, I didn't see the people I had to find them that's what Saul probably intended of course this reminds me of an Ernst Haas photo the reflection of the building and then a person or two in there this I really like a lot this is fantastic all this the black and the white and then the worker way up here in the corner another nice reflection tattered posters and then the building across the street could almost be a fashion photograph the way he composed that that guy there Another reflection photos in a, in a window and then the reflection of the street scene the traffic across the street that's nice again we've seen this before a lot of street in the foreground he leads you up to this scene up here slow shutter speed doesn't look like there's a lot of light he's probably using slow uh, film speed that's nice how the person is kind of split through the through the window rain covered window this is one of my all all-time favorites probably from him probably might be my favorite in the book just the way he set this up this pop of red this girl playing in the snow it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful and then one thing I really like that they did here they put this together they give you information about each photo that's in the book was it titled when they found it was it dated where did they find it what box was it in 
Did it have uh, a date on it, a year? I mean, he had so many slides, but he did have somewhat of an organizational system. So this is this is neat. I'm gl I'm really glad they did this because you could kind of get a peek into Saul's mind. Cause, um, he is not around anymore. Unfortunately, he died uh, about nine years ago. So it's cool that they wrote, you know, some of the things that were on there um, on the slide mounts. So you get a peek, a little bit of a peek of what uh, what was going through Saul's mind. And then just a write up on on Saul and the two people who put the book together, Margaret and Michael. And there he is looking at his light box, looking at his slides. So a really nicely done book. This is just absolutely beautiful. I will leave a description. Um, or sorry, I will leave a link in the description where you can go uh, an affiliate link where you can check this out and order it yourself. The only nitpick I have on this book, I would say, is that the pages are black and they have a little bit of a luster to them. So you have to be careful with fingerprints and things like that. So, I, you know, you wouldn't want to hold the pages really tight. Um, you know, you do kind of want to treat it as, as a work of art, just very gentle on these black pages. These pages, it doesn't matter, obviously, but um, so it, it's a it's a beautiful book. If you love Saul Lighter, even if you like Saul Lighter, you have to have this book. It was, um, it was a great, great read through, walk through. I'm glad they put those essays in there and uh, I highly recommend that you get this. So hope that helps you out. Thanks for joining me on the journey today. Hit that subscribe button below and check out my other links etc etc we will talk to you soon with another video thanks bye, -bye.